welcome. I've got some really interesting material to work on today. I've got three beech trees. Uh, two of them are collected and one of them is from a garden centre. I'm going to be doing some trunk chops, but this one over here, I'm going to be doing the initial stages of turning it into a raft style bonsai, which I think is really exciting. I love that kind of project. But first of all, let's take a look at this one. So this tree was one of my very first collected trees. Uh, it's a beech. It's got a nice bit of movement lower down. And I did a trunk chop early last year up here and it's healing up nicely. As you can see, these two branches which have been removed are, call are callousing over nicely and within another year or so I think they'll be completely healed up. But there's a problem. And that problem is a, a lack of taper and the fact that the tree is too tall for how skinny the trunk is for me. I'm finding this with loads of the trees I worked on last year. I chopped them too high and for me realistically I think I need to cut it much close much further down around here. So using my hybrid cutters whoa, that's tough that is tough. I'm going to cut this way as well so that I don't split the bottom. That's come off really nicely there, and I think that will produce a nice, uh, there we go. I think that'll produce a nice callus over the top of that over the next couple of years, which will be perfect. I'll just apply a little bit of cut paste on that top, just to seal that, that wound in, keeps any disease out, and helps it to heal up nicely. So I think that's a lot more reasonable as a bonsai now. And I'll just leave that to grow for the next year or so and possibly do some pruning on it next summer. Before I move on to the tree that I'm turning into a raft style, I wanted to work on this collected tree. And this is a really nice, uh, quite characterful beach. It's got the lovely texture that you get on mature trees on the bark uh, and it's got a nice root base as well but it does need bringing back further up at the top so first of all I want to show you where I made the major cut last year so this is the site where I did the major chop and as you can see it's big it's callousing over really nicely and rolling over that edge so that's great one of the things about beach that makes them so appealing to me is this lovely marking that you get on the bark. I think it's really beautiful. Uh, and another thing I wanted to show you was this branch has been on from the beginning when I collected the tree, whereas this branch only sprouted last year and it's already thicker than this original one. So this is a really powerful shoot, which I do need to get in con under control. Before I start doing any pruning, I just wanted to show you this base. It's got some really nice roots coming down and on this side here this was all split I, I thought this would die but actually this is calloused over and this is healing up really well so that's good I pointed the camera up so we can see the canopy of the tree at the top it's all too high we've got nice taper coming from the trunk into this branch which I turned into the new leader but now I think it needs chopping again to take the taper across into this. Having made the decision that this is going to become the new leader, it's now about cutting this off here. Birch, uh, beech is a very hard wood, so it does, it does test your cutters, but that came off quite nicely actually. I think this tree is now looking a lot more reasonable I mentioned earlier about how thick this branch is, so I definitely want to calm this down. And one of the ways I'll do it is by cutting it back like that and reducing some of the vigor out of that branch. Likewise, I want to do the same with this lower branch down here. I don't want this one 
going crazy. Whereas this branch here, which only appeared this year, so it's a, a first year branch, I want this to thicken up, so I won't do any pruning at all on this one. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that. I think that's gone really nicely. This was the piece I took off the top. So I removed a fair amount, but I think that's now, I just think it's looking much better as a, as a potential bonsai in the future. I will just trim these top ones back as well. So I don't want them to go, I don't want these to go too crazy. And I want to encourage sort of ramification. So yeah, I think that's nice. Before I call it a day on these trees, I couldn't resist just adding a piece of aluminium wire to these two branches. Now I've deliberately wrapped the coil round really loosely. I'll just bend this first one down and then show you the coiling on the top one. So this has already had some movement added last year, because as I say, these were both in this, these are both branches that are two years old or a year and a half, year and a bit old. And all I want to do is just take it down just a little bit like that that's enough that, that that's plenty um, and I'll show you the wiring at the top you could easily look at this wiring at the top and think that it's just sloppy work but as I say I've deliberately sort of tried to cradle the branch but not tightly and it's going to mark the mark the branch much less and I don't want to do a lot with this branch. All I'm doing is just guiding it down like that. Maybe a little more, just like that. And that's plenty. I'm glad I just added that piece of wire. I think it's just helped the balance of the tree on this side. Um, and I'm excited about this tree for the future. Now time for the raft. Now for the project that I'm really excited about, and this is the raft style beach that I'm gonna get on its way today. Before I do though, just a quick shout out for a chap who follows me on my channel. He's called Aaron Walsh. Seems like a really nice guy from Wales and he's just started a YouTube channel. It's called Nant Bonsai. And he does uh, makes pots and slabs and all stuff. I find it really interesting. And at the moment I'm his only subscriber. so. Go and check out his content. I'll put a link in the description below this video. Back to the raft. I removed the wire from this a few videos ago. This was bent down significantly. I think I did a chop here and my plan was to turn it into a tree, but I've gone back to my initial idea to turn it into a raft. So all these branches on this side are going to become trunks of trees and I'm going to turn the apex into another trunk. For this style of planting, to make it easier for people who maybe don't know how this works, the tree gets planted in a long planter like this. This is exposed. These branches become new trunks, which grow up from the original trunk. I remove the bark on the underneath to help this to root into the ground. And then I turn the apex of the tree up into a new trunk like that. So it'll have It'll have either four or five trunks coming up uh, and that's kind of the plan. So today I need to get the wire on this and get these ready into shape so that when I plant it in the spring, it'll kind of already have the form that I want. In terms of wiring, it's quite straightforward this. Obviously this, this section is going to be in the ground with hopefully roots coming out of it. I don't, know, I don't know if this bit will be above the ground. It may possibly be above, like a bridge. In fact, I could reapply the wire to create a bit more of a bridge along this section. That would make sense, actually. And I'm going to do it. So if, if this section here is the part that wants bending, all I'm going to do is wrap this wire around the trunk 
like this. It's quite easy wiring beech because the branches are all clean, the leaves don't get in the way. So it's all quite straightforward really. I'll take this wire up to the top. All the way around like that. And what I will do is, I don't need as thick a wire up at this top end. Um, so, but I will need more wire than this to create a bend. So I've got to double wire that. You know you mean business when you get the six and a half mil wire out. It's not easy to use. And I want it along this section here, not necessarily at the bottom too much. So I'll start it here and I'm just going in between the previous coil of wire. Winding around the tree. It's a bit harder using recycled wire than it is using fresh wire, but you know, I suppose I like to do my bit for the environment and I don't like paying for wire. <laughs> you make your own decision, which is my more important reason. I reckon it's probably my, my tightness. There, that's lovely. That's gone really well there. I will just add the thinner piece of wire up to this top because I do want to bend this a little further up. So the thin wire here just gets coiled around as so. There we go. Lovely that. If this is going to be the hill which these trunks are sitting on this wants to be kind of the center of the bend if you will so all i'm doing is just bending this round like that and put in i don't want to crack this because this is perfect for a raft style it'd be a shame if i if I damaged it. Yeah, so I'm really happy with that. Perfect. To help me to visualize the eventual design, I've got some bricks and I'm going to place them underneath and prop this up like that. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's how I kind of see, I see this coming out of the soil here, roughly. There being a bridge with the trunks coming up like this. And they've got this lovely S shape to them. And then this branch here at the end, I want to just bend upwards like that. So this will be coming up and out of the ground as they do in nature. You know, this is a very natural kind of design. And this is what happens when trees fall over. So this will come out of the ground. This part will be buried. Maybe it'll be a bit more like that, thinking about it. Like that. So I've got a little branch here. I need to apply some wire to also. This is the little, little branch I'm talking about. I've just applied some wire to it. And these are all obviously coming in a line. So it's nice to have something coming off to the side. So the idea being that this can be a like a small sapling growing up. Next to the main planting like that. And that works really well, I think. Well, it could do anyway. 
I'm really happy with how that's gone there. I think this is going to be a really interesting project in the future. If you want to follow the progress of this and the other beech trees, hit subscribe. I'll be removing this wire probably uh, autumn time and then I'll be looking to replant this in a pot as a proper sort of uh, raft style bonsai next spring. So I love having these projects on the go. These are my most uh, exciting ones. I think they're great. So as always, thanks for joining me and have a great day.